My name is Jeff Marcus. My firm is TPA. And as I mentioned in the first video, we are now making TPA available to a much broader audience. This is video two. All the videos, they're very short, are available below. If you haven't seen video one yet, it may make sense to watch that first. When I started working for large institutions running their trading desks, TPA just came as a natural progression working with so many positions. One firm I worked for had 600 positions and the manager of that firm wanted me to tell him what five stocks to trade every single day. Obviously we couldn't look at 600 screens, so I developed trend range. Trend range basically uses two technical variables, ADX and DMI, to determine what stocks are trending and what stocks are range bound. And from that, we can use six charts to determine if any of the stocks in your portfolio or any stocks that you're looking at are at valuable inflection points. Here are TPA's six charts, and I'll go into them in a little bit of detail right here. If a stock has trend strength, and that trend strength uh, defines it as being in an uptrend, there are, there are two different conditions. One is that the stock has declined back to uptrend support, in which case it would be a buy. And the other condition is that it has broken uptrend support, and therefore we'd be looking at a place to sell this, see either sell the position or perhaps establish a short position. The other condition in a stock that has trend strength is that that stock is in a downtrend. This is just the exact opposite of the uptrend. If a stock has rallied back to downtrend resistance, then it would be a sale. If the stock has broken through and had a breakout above the downtrend, in that case, we'd want to look for a place to buy this stock. If a stock does not have trend strength, then we consider that a range-bound stock. And the inflection points here are pretty simple. The top of the two standard deviation Bollinger Band or the bottom of the two standard devi deviation Bollinger Band. All these alerts will be available to you with TPA. TPA trend range is run daily for 98% of all stocks that are publicly traded in the United States. TPA finally evolved to use TPA RRG or relative rotation graphs to do the big part of the filtering and then used trend range to make sure that the stocks were at good inflection points. The next video will explain road of rotation graphs and why these are so important. Again, all the links to all the videos are provided below.